Hey guys, it's Bianca from Plan, Live, and Travel. How are you today? Today I'll be doing my September monthly. I like to do this in the beginning of the month. That way I can write down our work schedule and when we're on call and important dates. That way I can remember when I do my weekly. So I don't normally do it how um, some others might where it's like a memory. This is basically functional but making it look so pretty. And of course, I am using Style Planners monthly for September. Here is a cute little add-on. This is an add-on um, for the kit that you can get. I thought this one was, this one's not foiled, but on the stickers on the kit, it is foiled. So that is an add-on that I picked up. So for the kit, you can get it in the Erin Condren or in the Happy Planner, which makes me super happy because I love her monthlies. I've been using her monthly since April. So here is the September one in this beautiful gold foil. And then you have Sweather Weather repeated multiple times here. And then you have these beautiful multicolored leaves. I guess fall colored leaves. So that is that one. And then here is more of the functional. You have your sidebar, a couple of the labels, and these are foiled as well. This is the deco that I was talking about, and it is also foiled. Here it says Weather Weather, Pumpkin Spice. You have a couple of them that say Bill Do. And then the headers down here says This Month Overview Goals, Projects, and Next Month. And here it says Hello Fall. Love, love, love. And then here are your date dots and then some of your icons, some payday flags. Here it says Hello Fall and Labor Day. So we're going to get into it. I just wanted to show you. Look how, I don't know if you could tell. I mean, she's thick, don't get me wrong. But you see how high this is like poofing up? That is <laughs> my September little decoration that I did. These flowers are 3D, so it's making my planner a little poofy. But that's okay. What's wrong with fluff? So here is the September one, which I just realized might make it a little interesting on trying to put the September stickers on so we shall see so let's go ahead and take out September and then of course um, the video the YouTube video that I did on how I made this is already up on my channel I think it's the video before. well I shouldn't say the video before this because you know I don't know I might upload this today or tomorrow and here's that that's a sneak peek of the October one which is not glued on here yet yet because I was gonna add something to it so you'll just have to wait and see we'll just have to okay so let's get into it I think we might have to do this like one side at a time so you guys can kind of be a little bit closer to me you know I brush my teeth it's okay you guys can come closer all right so we're gonna do this part first. And last time, or last month I should say, I put it in my other monthly, the student one, and it didn't fit as nicely. And I think it's because this is really meant for the vertical. And it looks like that is true. So I think I'm gonna flip this upside down. So I don't want it to hit this. So I kind of want to line it up with the box, but then not hit, just be careful not to hit the, which I'm not, totally far away, I'm being dramatic. Pew, 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 pew. It's cute. I think if I had it a little further up, it might have covered this, or I could have just used white out, which would have been smart. Oh well. Now I know. This girl needs to use some white out. <laughs> Alright, so let's do... Actually, that doesn't go there. I think the sweater weather part will go down on this box. That's not part of... Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So let's do the smaller one first. Like that. 
And then we'll do the thicker one of the leaves down here. Yeah, I really probably should have done this monthly first. You know what's funny? Because we moved and everything was in boxes, you guys, I couldn't find this monthly, okay? And I was like, I know I bought it. Like, I'm not crazy. Like, I'm special, but I don't think I was that crazy that I wouldn't have remembered if I bought, I'm flipping you guys all upside down, if I didn't, like, remember actually buying the the monthly I was like there's no way I know I I know I bought it I know I did so I went on style planners website I should have moved that over to a little bit I don't know what happened I must have put it down crooked again you can kind of see the dots on the side but you know it is what it is you know it's just it is what it is anyways I could have sworn that I bought it. And for and so I went on the website to look under, you know, previous transactions, you know, basically to see, and it was not on there. Oh my God, this is so weird. Lo and behold, I remember checking through my emails and I found it. I was like, what on earth happened? So I don't know if I signed under a different account because I originally, when I started this, I was using my personal email. But then when I started using YouTube, I started using my YouTube channel's email. You know, when you sign up for YouTube, it gives you that Google email account. So I started using that. Because, you know, maybe one day someone will want me as their PR girl. You never know. I might. Or not. You know? But anyways, so I started using it that because then I figured that would be easier. Why is this going on so crooked? I'm going to try to do it where you put it on down this way and then go up. Maybe that will work. Um, so yeah, obviously I have it. I found it when I was trying to organize my stickers because some of my stickers I did not put away before we moved. Why? The world will never know because I don't know. Oh, that worked a little bit better, but still, it went on crooked at the end. Yeah, you know, oh well. It is what it is. Okay, so let's do the bottom. So yeah, long story short, I found it. Boop, boop. Should I white that out on the bottom? Do I have my white out? Like, oh, I do. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Bianca was prepared, what? Actually, it's because my bag was like literally right there. I don't know why I decided to go in the middle. Gosh, I can't even white out straight. You know what's gonna be funny though? You're gonna see the white out. But I guess it's better than the pink flowers. And I'm trying to make this like a fall looking thing. I'm just pushing down the white out because I think I went over the page. So I'm trying to push it down, but I think it's just breaking off, which is fine. So I'm just gonna push it down and try to get, I don't know. Now it's stuck on my finger. <laughs> the struggle does feel. What, Stewie? Oh my gosh. You know what? Maybe that was not meant for that. That other small spot that I used. Maybe it was meant to go all the way across. Because look, now that one's short a day. But you know what? It will be okay. It will be okay. Because I said so. I feel like my tripod is leaning against my desk so every single time I move it shakes the camera so I might have to again readjust where I have it and I really do readjust it because I have the window right there like literally right there but because the sun is shining in and it's so bright it has that weird glare on the table and I didn't I didn't want that Ugh, let's not go blind how about that okay so now that that's down 
I'm gonna have to end up doing something to cover that up. We might use some of the extra deco that I have, but right now, this is what we're dealing with. Okay, so let's start putting down the date dots, which normally takes a hot second. So let's talk about, let's see, what should we talk about? I wanna know, how was your August? Did you guys have a good one? You know, sometimes you have good months and bad months. August was a weird month, I think, for us with the whole moving and everything. Whoa, I was about to put that down wrong. And everything not going according to plan. That it's just been weird. Not bad, but I feel like it was testing my patience. I feel like <laughs> this was just one of those weeks where it just, it just tests me. And how what kind of person I am I guess in a way so let's talk a little bit about work I did get a question oh my gosh Vince is at work and he's texting me while he's at work he has one more case to go yay all right so let's turn off the volume so I don't keep hearing what to do Shh. okay so I'm going to talk about work a little bit and what I do. I did have a subscriber and, um, crap, I forgot her name. I sh really should have looked this up beforehand. And she asked what I was, what I do. Like, what does it mean what I'm doing, basically? What do I do? So I am a traveling surgical tech. So a surgical tech is a tech, the schooling. Did I do that wrong? Yes, I did can't talk. I'm just going to put that down on the other side since I have it up. Um, surgical tech is about 11th month program. And at least for my school, I did it at a community college where it's cheaper than going to Everest and those type of schools, the private schools. And I already had my AA. So my program was 11 months. And what it is is that we're in charge of the sterile field. We pass instruments to the surgeon. We help assist. Helping assist now, okay, meaning that we'll, help, we'll hold retractors. Some surgeons have PAs, like physician assistants. Some of them might have nursing FAs, which is a first assist, or there might be a tech that's a first assist. Anyways, but if they're not there, we help with like holding the retractors you know helping them out during the surgery but we don't we don't close like we don't do suturing the most we can do is stapling and i think even that depends on the facility you're at but anyways so that's what a surgical tech is a cst now or certified surgical tech is a cst so for us, we travel, which means if there is a hospital that is just low on employees, or maybe they had a bunch of employees that are going on vacation, maternity leave, what have you, they put out looking for travelers. So we can go anywhere in the United States um, with our company. Um, we can also go to Puerto Rico. We can also travel and get a special certification. It's different from a CST. I don't know exactly what it's called, but we can also go abroad. You can go to Dubai, Korea, Japan, stuff like that, or those places. Not stuff like that, but those places like that. Anyway, so you can study, not study, you can go abroad and work overseas. And, yeah. Um, I was looking at 31 and it just threw me off. I'm like, wait, it doesn't have 31 days. I'm okay. So we've been from, we started in Florida because that's where we originally worked at. And then we went to Maine. Then we went to Oregon. And now we're in Montana. The first assignment, um, not just first assignments, your assignments in general are 13 weeks. That's how long it lasts or then you can have the option to renew or extend and that means you can stay longer now that at that point you can say 
yeah, I'll stay for another 13 weeks, or maybe the facility's like, hey, could you stay for an extra, it doesn't have to be 13 weeks, it can be five weeks, it can be three weeks, it can be whatever. So say if you had another assignment that you really wanna go to, say like Hawaii, that's a popular one. Why aren't you working, there we go. Say Hawaii had an opening, but it wasn't until like maybe three weeks after your assignment's done. And say you applied and you got it, you can extend with your normal one for the three weeks so you don't lose out on pay, or you can extend for another week or something like that. You and the facility can talk it out, basically. So I just put down where Labor Day, I say was because today is, what is today? Thursday? Today's the 5th. So Labor Day already passed, but I went ahead and put down the sticker. And now this one says, hello fall. And I'm going to put it down where it says first day of autumn, which I think I'm going to, instead of whiting it out like I did the other one, I think I'm going to just place it above it because I like how it says first day of autumn and it just says hello fall just to add a little pedaz. So. Anywho, so that is my job in a nutshell. Um, traveling with what we do. Um, I don't know why this is crooked, but whatever. Traveling, we definitely do get paid more for traveling. You get, and I'll, I'll kind of explain a little bit. I won't go into grave detail, like price-wise, but I will say that, so for your stipend, is what it's called, which is your tax-free housing and food allowance is tax-free and that's what you get each month. So weekly you'll get, so say like for the whole month, say you get like X amount of dollars for food and X amount of dollars for month for, for rent. They divide that up into four and you get that in your paycheck weekly and you do get paid weekly. And then the kicker is, the kicker, is that you don't always, your pay, your hourly pay rate is going to be less because of the tax-free stipend. You pocket that money if you get like a cheaper rent, if you know what I'm trying to say. So say if they give you, I don't know, like $2,000 for rent a month, if you find a place that's like $1,100 or $1,000, whatever. And we look for fully furnished places that have Wi-Fi included and stuff like that. So they tend to be a little bit more expensive than just an empty apartment. We're not bringing any furniture with us. So with that being said, um, you might, ours is gonna be a little expensive, but anyways, you pocket basically the rest of the money. So if they give you X amount of dollars, it doesn't mean you have to spend it exactly, but that's where you get the money and that's why your hourly rate is normally lower. It's because you're getting that tax free. Now, say, for instance, that, I'm gonna use the tab that says this month. Say for instance that you can't find housing. Say it's in a place that's really, really hard to find housing maybe it's all super expensive or whatever. So what you would do is that you would tell your company, hey, I want you to find my housing for me. This is what I want in my house, blah, 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 blah. So they'll find the housing, they'll give you the furniture and everything. So because of that, you won't get the tax-free stipend, but you would get a higher um, hourly pay. So, which is cool. So next header I'm gonna use is goals. And then the f following one that says hello fall, I think I'll just do next month. Yes, I'll do next month. Boom. You can't even see. Look at it. Look how pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So what I need to do is I need to grab my schedule so I can write down the days. Where did I? There it is. So in my um, horizontal, so now I don't have the student one. In my horizontal for the monthly, I have this jotted down 
and then I put down who's working, what's going on, and blah, 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 blah. This month is really, really, really exciting because my mama, my mommy is coming to visit. I'm so excited. Yay. So, and we have some birthdays, which I need to look up to make sure I actually remember exactly what day it is. Because I am a horrible, horrible family member who can't remember birthdays. I like how my fiance is asking me what's for dinner today. Dude, it's, what time is it? It's like 2.30. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I do know. I have ground turkey taken out of the freezer. Anyways, I'm going to pause so I can look up the birthdays because clearly I didn't do this ahead of time because I'm an awesome YouTuber and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is going to be a little weird. So when I looked at the schedule that I took or the picture that I took of the schedule for work, it said for this week I was supposed to be off Tuesday, not Wednesday. So I'm a little bit confused on that. Or Thursday. I was supposed to be off Tuesday, not Thursday. No, I was supposed to be off Wednesday and not Thursday. Yeah, so only supposed to work one and then day three or day two and day three. So anyways... Um, but their schedule for some reason had me off Thursday So I don't know if I took a picture of an older schedule or a schedule that was still like in progress or whatever So Vince is gonna send me the picture of the updated one So I'm not gonna write in our work schedule. The only thing I will write in is when we're on call Because That is not gonna change what days we picked and then also my mom's coming in so we'll put that down and yeah so we'll and then the birthdays we'll put that in too it's funny i thought of the sticker that i was going to use for a call is like a little sticker that literally says call on it or on call i'll have to probably grab that so i can decorate it a little bit better okay so Let's do call first. There's a lot of days for call, so I don't think I'm going to use the labels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How many days are we on call? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I guess we're going to use labels. That will work. Okay. So I'm just going to pick one to start. So the earliest that we're on call is on the 12th. So at least then this way I can write, do the little call sticker here. I don't know if I'm going to use pink. Let's use one of the permanent markers. We'll use this Sharpie pen. This is matte paper, so it'll be fine with that. All right, so the 12, it's me. So I'm going to put B, I'm going to put dash, second, call. All right. And then this is the next day. So we'll use a different color. Um, let's move it a little bit further up so it's not so back to back. And then we'll do V and then we'll do second call. Second call is different um, and each facility. This facility that we're at, second call means that it's 24 hours. That the first call, if they need backup help, um, if there's like extra cases or they work so long and hard that they need a break for lunch and stuff like that, that's when they'll call in the second call. So you're basically just backup and it's for 24 hours. So on the 16th, we have Vince's second call and here what they have is they have second call during the week and then first and second call for the weekends first call is 12 hours it's 6 30 to 6 30 which means any case that comes in you'll be coming in to do it i'm going to raise this one higher up Ooh, I need to be careful because I think my mom, yeah. So let's put this actually right here. And we'll put, this is for me. This 
second call. Okay. All right, so then, so the 21st and the 22nd, I also have a facial appointment. <laughs> okay, so for the 21st, this will be the facial appointment. I like this color. So facial appointments, and then we'll do another one. Let's do a darker, eh, let's do a yellow. And we'll do this color, mustard yellow. And then I think Vince said he was going to take first call since I had a facial. So we'll do Vince first call. And then on the 22nd... That will be me. I switched. I didn't even switch. I didn't even take the call shift. But in order for me to be off or not have call during the weekend where my mom's here, I ended up having to pick up two call shifts. So it is what it is. All right. And then on the 26th. Um, Vince is on second call. All right, cool, yeah. So I think, I don't know, I was gonna do like a washi strip or something. I don't know how this is like all crooked. Um, I was going to use a washi strip to kind of mark when my mom's coming, but I don't know. I just don't know what I want to do. I might do a, because I can't do it all the way across because even the 13th is getting kind of full. I can use a skinny, like a really, really skinny one if I have one that kind of matches this kit. So I'll go ahead and put a label down first, and then what I'm going to do is use the plain icon, and then put, I don't know, mom is here, should have like stacked that, oh well. So I wrote mom is here, and then I should put her flight actually. So she comes in around like 8.53 p.m. Coolio. Okay. So she is here from 9-11, which probably not the best day to fly. But, you know, it is what it is. Day we'll never forget. So we, she comes in the 11th and then she leaves on the 17th. Which, unfortunately, Vince and I are both working. I'm going to try to see what I can do so I can take her to the airport. Um, I guess I can use... I have another label. So let's give her a pink one. Her favorite color is pink. And also because the other label is burgundy. Clearly not going to do that. How did I do that airplane? That's kind of coming in. So let's flip this for leaving. Right now it's departing. Pink on pink, you know. So we'll do mom heads back home. Sad face. And then it's at twelve forty one. Cool. Awesome, possum. Okay, so I only have one label left. Because <sighs> we're on call so many times. Um, So let's do some of the birthdays. So for birthdays, we have three to write down. Oh, let's see. My grandpa's was the third. So we'll put... give him a label. There's no labels up here. And might as well. So here's the cute little 
birthday cake. So we'll do Pat Paps B Day. All right, next is my sister's birthday, AKA Little One, AKA Caroline. And she is the eighth. Ouch. I don't even know if I can cover up the bill due with. Yeah, can't really do that. So hers, I'm just gonna put maybe kind of like in the middle and we'll do, let's do hair in pink, why not? Since it's different. So we'll do little one, little one's B day. How old is she turning? A little sister. I think she's turning 21 this year. Because Frank turned 21 last year. She's a year behind, so. Or a year younger, not a year behind. She's actually not behind at all. She's super smart. She's a smart cookie. So my mom's birthday is the 23rd. Oh my gosh, look at that. She's on the first day of autumn. That is so cute. Why didn't I even like realize it first? Oh my gosh, I should have planned this better. Let's put the birthday cake over on the side. Crooked, obviously, and we'll do Mom's B Day. Coolio. All right, so that's it for birthdays. Again, we're gonna have to wait for work because I don't know why that happens. Um, it's really weird. And then, yeah, that's it. That's it for September. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whoa, don't look at my handwriting. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna do a cute little foil, flippy looking twerk thing. It's almost like the bat wing. Do the Batman. Do the Batman. Did. Okay. Anyways, and here's an up close look on how it all looked out. I don't know why it looks so dark. It does. I'm gonna have to film earlier in the day so it doesn't look so dark. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your day or night whenever you guys are watching this. And make this straight. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.